Hey everyone, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to the City Opera Omnia. Now I'm going to be doing the co-op with you guys. I know it's a little late. There's probably like three days left on this, maybe two. Uh, but I want to get this information out there, uh, I guess, just to help out everyone who's doing last minute runs. Who don't know that you can farm tier 3 crystals off this event, like very frequently. I was getting between... 10 to 30 crystals. I actually have a screenshot. If I remember, I'll post it over here somewhere. Yeah, right here. This is where the biggest space is. My big head's not in the way. Uh, but we are going to go through a cope right now. I'm going to show you guys my highest rank that I got. I think I still have it somewhere, but I know that the people I played with, we got 31,000. I think it was about 32,000. I couldn't really remember, but 32,000 sounds like a safe area. Uh, I'm going to go over everything that I did, kind of like all my tips to make 30,000 plus score that I learned while playing with Surgeon April, who I'm about to invite into this to help me make this video uh, and <laughs> I kind of excited because when we did it we were just spamming like coupons the whole time and uh, it was really really fun but at one point we we're hitting like 22,000 25,000 and then all of a sudden boom we hit 30,000 like what the hell did we do and I we kind of figured it out that uh, it was like the faster you go at it the better it is so let's go do a run through right now uh, the co-op quest if you guys don't know it's only here for so long I think it's it's done on the 28th I could be wrong, and uh, we're currently on the, no, it might be the 26th, so I think we have three days left, but I'm going to invite right now, uh, I'm going to host it, and I'm going to send an invite to Surge and April, by the way guys, Surge and April, they're, they're uh, friends I made, I met while doing this channel, and I'm so glad I did, right here, and send the request out, yeah. So while we wait for Surge, there's Surge, now we're waiting for April, I'm going to stick with my Squall here, you guys are going to bring in, <laughs> there's the Koopals, <laughs> I'm going to bring in my highest DPS character, and that being Squall, you have, War not Warrior Light, uh, Cloud, you got Van, anyone that's got an HP, and that's got a HP and Bravery at the same time, those are the characters you guys want to bring in, because they're going to kill stuff the quickest. Anything that does a bravery into an HP attack. Like I said, Cloud's Cross Slash, uh, Squall's Flurry. You got so many choices here. But we're going to bring our A team. My, my character's not as good as there. Look at Surge with his damn six-star weapon. April with her six-star weapon. Guys, they are so, so strong. But the stronger, the better. We all got level 20 Ifrits. Really important to go through. And we're going to go through this. So, <laughs> here's the spam. I love these guys. I absolutely love these guys. So, we're going to start this. I'm going to show you guys how we did it. Um, we, we, even if we don't make 30,000, I'm going to walk you guys through this anyways. <laughs> it was so much fun. Just spamming Koopas the whole time. So, the key thing here is Gravity Spin, guys. Gravity Spin is... Uh, an HP attack, it's going to do half our HP every single time. It's not going to kill you. If you see Gravity Spin, it's the other HP attack that will kill you. So what I do want to do is just go ham as much as I can. I'm not worried about the skills because the last uh, the last guy is going to take a beating from us anyways. So I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do. Uh, if they, they remember everything. Oh shit, they're going for the finishing touch. HP attack. So every time you got them in the air, just go for the HP attacks because you get bonus damage for hitting them against the wall. You see the total was more than our two HPs put together. So don't be afraid about getting broken. Just make sure you kill this as fast as can. The, the faster the turn rate, the better. So I'm gonna go for another solid barrel there because it's totally fine. We don't need that much for the last one as long as the characters are a decent number. So we're all above 3000. He's being targeted right now. Uh, Surge is being targeted, but it's totally fine. We're just gonna go ham at him. Here we go, here comes Surge with his cross slash. We're not worrying here at all about being broken. We're worrying about just killing this guy as soon as we can. That's what's important. So I should have just went for a bravery attack there. That was a little bit of waste, but it's okay. But if you can finish this guy under 20 turns, you're in a good position. So here we go. Here comes Saliva. Saliva happens after the run reaches 50% HP. But we're just going to keep going ham at him as much as we can. So we got broken. If you can avoid the break, it's great. If you can't avoid the break, it's totally fine. And HP damage doesn't matter because the last guy, uh, the last guy is totally going to be ruined by summons. So we got another break in there. He's pretty much almost done. We're on turn 11. We're looking really good. We've wasted a lot of skills, but it's not that bad. So what we're going to do here is I'm pretty sure one more solid barrel and we're in the clear. Plus their HP attacks. So we're doing under 15. Even better. We finished that even quicker. So now we're going to come over here. These guys are doing great. Surge, April, you guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, so here, I'm going to go first. So what I'm going to end up doing here is just going to go for the, the kill on the goblin here. So, or uh, the break. Because I do want to save a, blah, a flurry for the last one. We can each break a certain character. Right there. If he actually broke him, that would have been a clean cut. But it didn't happen. It's okay. There's the HP attack. And then we got to focus on that acid dude over there. I think I can take my with 2786. Let's see. 
Yeah, I can. I'm going to take down that one because our physical attacks are going to be a lot better against this guy right here. So they can save their skills here, but I kind of told them to use their skills for everything. So <laughs> they're going for it. <laughs> Thank you guys for that, by the way. And this is where it just basically goes. So the more times you guys break every enemy, the faster your summon gauge fills up. So we got our summon gauges to near perfect. So what I'm going to do here is just going to go for the break with everyone. Uh, let's see if we can get the break in there. The, that attack should be good. Just go for the solid barrel. There we go. There's the break. You heard that dink? That ding noise is our summons already. And now we're just going to go into summer load. So we are below 20 turns. So even with all those breaks that we took, it doesn't really matter compared to how many things we actually did. So every time you get a knock up on this guy, make sure you guys use all your HP attacks. I'm going to go for my uh, solid barrel right here. Because I'm just not solid barrel, my flurry here just to do the damage and just keep going at it. Right now, honestly. Shiva does more damage, but Shiva is not level, uh, what do you call it, level 20. So Ifrit is the best thing to bring in currently because it's a lot quicker uh, than bringing in anything else right now. Because everything else is below a low level. Unless you farm Miracles somehow and got them to level 11, it's not going to happen. Ifrit's the best summon currently just because he is the one at level 20. So he's paralyzed, turns out beautifully. That only puts us at 21 turns. Uh, we were supposed to go for a summon there. I don't know if her summon was ready or not. But it's okay. My summon's ready, so I'm going to go for that summon. If her summon was ready, she should have went to summon that I don't think it was ready. And this is where we're going to finish it off. So, I'm going to go for my HP attack here. And then build it up next turn. We totally should be fine. A cross slash over here. And then a so if she has a flurry left, it should be game. No, she got HP attack. So, we did it in uh, a little... We screwed up a little couple parts uh, where we didn't need to take the breaks. But you guys are going to see, because of the great timing and everything, and just the OPness of their weapons... Uh, how fast you go is more important than the breaks. Watch the score. 32,973. Even though we got broken twice, that does not matter. That doesn't matter at all. <laughs> so, summons are really important. Killing everything ASAP. Even wasting your skills, it doesn't matter. When you go into summon, into summon, into summon, you guys are going to kill them so fast that if you do it below 25 turns, you'll always hit over 30,000 score. And uh, I know that taking HP damage lowers your score. Taking breaks lowers your score. So if you can do it even cleaner while staying under 25 score, uh, 25 turns, that's where you guys are going to get the most points. The best thing, the smaller the turns, the more the return of your score. And this applies to all the quests in the game. Uh, taking breaks does hinder your score, but the quicker you guys complete that, that quest, the better for you. Now, is the important part I was talking about. We get those, but we also have a chance. It didn't happen here, but we have a chance. Again, I'll show you guys a screenshot of these co-op rewards being a tier 3. You, I got 10, 10, and 10 one time. And then sometimes I got only 10 and then these two tier 2s or I got two 10s. So you guys can farm tier 3 crystals here as well to help you level up your characters to max 50 crystal. So, <laughs> guys, if you're still watching, April and uh, Serge, thank you guys so much for helping me out. That is pretty much the whole thing. Uh, I really want to emphasize that because you guys have these cycle quests which can be unlocked with keys, but they also... Uh, can be doing doing them 10 times a day. So you only have 10 times a day where you guys can unlock tier 3 crystals. And that's why I say it's so important to do this co-op quest right now. Because along with farming tier 3 crystals, crystals, you're also getting a bunch of gill. You're getting 100 gems, skip tickets. I believe in the notice itself, it actually shows you everything you get. And now that we're at the notice, I can actually just show you too. Here we go. Level 50 co-op quest is here until... If my internet's not that terrible today... Here we go, a uh, February 26th, so we do have three days left guys, make sure you do this ASAP and look at all the rewards. If you guys get a total of 20,000 score, 100 gems, just for playing the co-op once. 50,000, Relic of All Knowing, very important uh, thing, I'm going to make a guide for later. This Relic is really, really good. Along with more draw tickets, you get gems, 10,000 gil, uh, you get uh, experience orbs to so we'll level up your weapons, more gems, more Relics of Knowing, 10,000 gil again. And then draw tickets five. So if you do 30,000 per, you guys are going to complete this very, very quick, guys. If you do 10 quests at 30,000, you already hit 300,000. You're halfway, not halfway, but you're into another 100 gems if you do this 10 times at 30,000. So it's going to be really quick, guys. Maybe 20, 25 times, depending how good you are. And you guys will complete this. Get all this free stuff. Farm some tier three crystals all at the same time. 
If you guys have any more tips to add to the community, leave it down in the comment section. If I screwed up something, if I misinformed you guys on something, let me know. Either way, I'm having a blast of this game. Again, Serge April, thank you so much for being part of this video. And if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. As always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one. Turns out beautifully. That only puts us at 21 turns. Uh, we were supposed to go for a summon there.